to the college graduates of Tanyon College for school year 2019 to 2020 and 2020 to 2021, I extend my heartfelt congratulations. You have attained another phase of your life, a life full of challenges, expectations, goals, and uncertainties. Face it with courage and fortitude, and above all, the guidance of our Lord God Almighty, and He will bless your life. As you face a sea of troubles in these trying times, be strong and meet them head on. I have one ad simple advice and formula to give you. If you have to do anything in your life, big or small, do it well and God will bless you. In the same manner, I wish to congratulate the teachers of the graduates for you have molded a part of their lives and put your stamp on them. For truly, teaching is one of the noblest professions in the world. My warmest congratulations to the college graduates of school year 2021. We are certainly proud of you, for you have accomplished the goal you have set for yourselves in spite of these hard times. You have regularly met the challenges of a different school setting and tried your best to adjust to the online and module method of learning. This virtual graduation is in recognition of your strong determination to finish your courses in spite of all odds. As you look forward to a brighter future and hope of a better life, remember that you also have a responsibility towards your fellow men and your country. Choose your path wisely and seek the guidance of the Almighty God. Our profuse gratitude to your parents and guardians and our sincere thanks to your teachers, administrators, and staff who made this occasion possible. May God shower his blessings on our graduates. To, to the graduates, the pandemic has changed our lives and our mode of living. It has also affected our learning modalities and the way we dispense education to our students. However, we believe that education must go on, so no student will be left behind. We recognize and appreciate our students' efforts and determination to finish their respective courses in spite of the pandemic. So vacancies and needs in both our educational and economic sectors can be met. The value of education cannot be underemphasized. It can improve our quality of life, our attitude, and our outlook as we face this dark period in our nation's history. With this virtual graduation, we honor our graduates and recognize their parent sacrifice to let them finish in spite of financial hardship so they can have a better life. 
We also appreciate our teachers and staff's effort to make sure education continues in spite of many obstacles. To the graduates, congratulations. May God bless you all. My warmest congratulations to Batch 2020 and 2021. You have shown greatness in pursuing your education in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. You have shown resiliency in embracing the new normal way of learning. You have worked hard to achieve your goals and now you are ready to unveil another milestone of your lives. Indeed, the tassel was definitely worth the hassle. As you traverse the ups and downs that life would offer, I would like you to remember the values that this institution taught you. Wherever you may be, bring with you the attributes of a true-blooded Tanyonian and make your alma mater proud of your achievements. Be like a tenacious seed in this challenging and demanding society. Wherever it is blown by the wind, it will surely find its way to grow and bloom. My dear graduates, and to the ever-supportive parents, guardians, and spouses, we thank you for choosing Tanyon College as part of your tertiary education. We pray for your triumphs in life. Long live Tanyon College, champion of the poor. Our Heavenly Father, the fount of all goodness and grace, the cause of wisdom, the source of intelligence, we welcome you, O Lord, to this auspicious gathering of your beloved, who continuously give you thanks for every opportunity to learn something new and become fruitful to the works of your creation. We humbly come to you, not because we are worthy, but because we find ourselves in need of you, who is our strength and our hope, to continue despite the challenges we face in health, prosperity, and our solidarity with one another. We pray that today's gathering made possible by the grace of advancements in technology and social media, become successful in its endeavors so we can offer it back to you as our humble offering to honor you, glorify you, and love you through our deeper connection with everyone. May we find bliss in today's session and become more productive children and co-creators of the earth. This we ask and pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mga 
kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiling, Diyos ang sinakanan, alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay. First of all, congratulations to Batch 2019 to 2020 and Batch 2020 to 2021. To the faculty and staff and the parents who have supported them through a period of transition and disruption yet have remained committed and single-minded for today's milestone to be achieved by the grace of God. The challenges that have come your way have not been easy. If anything, they have been extraordinarily difficult. But the fact that you are here today only proves your dedication towards achieving a standard of education that is key to the future and lay ahead of you and the hopes and dreams that you cherish in your heart. Pandemic or not, the future does await you and your education is integral to the fulfillment of your future hopes and dreams. Given the challenges and circumstances that surround us, what can I share with you today that will illuminate the future? What can I impart to you that will embolden you to plunge courageously into the tomorrow that awaits you? I thought I would share with you a brief excerpt from an excellent book by New York Times best-selling author Mark Batterson called Chase the Lion. The book reads, Quit playing it safe and start running toward the roar. Buried in the second book of Samuel, the 23rd chapter and the 20th verse, is one of the most counterintuitive acts of courage in all scripture. It's just one of 31,102 verses in the Bible. The passage reads, There was also Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, a valiant warrior from Kabzeel. He did many heroic de deeds, which included killing two champions of Moab. Another time, on a snowy day, he chased the lion down into a pit and killed it. Chasing a lion into a pit on a snowy day takes courage. But that one act of courage completely changed the trajectory of Benaya's life. The same is true of you. You are one idea, one risk, one decision away from a totally different life. Of course, it would probably be the toughest decision you will ever make, the scariest risk you ever take. But if your dream doesn't scare you, it's too small. Scripture doesn't explain what Benaiah was doing or where he was going when he crossed paths with the lion. We don't know the time of day or his frame of mind. But it does reveal his gut reaction, and it was gutsy. Put yourself in Benaya's sandals. Your vision is obscured by falling snow and the frozen breath. Out of the corner of your eye, you detect movement. 
It's a prowling lion stalking its prey. You. In the wild, man versus lion scripts the same way every time. Man runs, lion chases, king of the beast eats man for lunch. But Benaya flips the script. That's what courage does. I don't know if it was the look in his eye or the spear in his hand, but the lion turns tail and Benaya gives chase. When the image of a man-eating beast travels through the optic nerve and into the visual cortex, the brain sends the body a simple but urgent message. Run away. That's what normal people do. But not lion chasers. Rather than seeing a 500-pound problem, they see an opportunity for God to show up and to show his power. Chase the lion is more than a catchphrase. It's a radically different approach to life. It's only when we stop fearing failure that we can fully seize opportunity by the main. This is a wake up call to stop living the overprotected and sheltered life. Our dreams should scare us. They should be so big that without God, they would be impossible to achieve. Quit running away from what you're afraid of. Chase the lion, change the world. <clears throat> there are the kind of dreams that will make you a bigger person and the world a better place. Based upon 2 Samuel 23, chase the lion tells the story of an ancient warrior named Benaya who chased a lion into a pit on a snowy day and then killed it. For most people, that situation wouldn't just be a problem. It would be the last problem they ever faced. For the Benaya, it was an opportunity to step into destiny. Written in a way that both challenges and encourages, this story will help unleash the faith and courage you need to identify, chase, and catch the 500-pound dreams in your life. A full-grown lion can run 36 miles per hour and leap 30 feet in a single bound. Benaya doesn't stand a chance but that doesn't keep him from giving chase. He can't keep pace, but he can track paw prints in the freshly fallen snow. He comes to the place where the ground has given way beneath the lion's 500 pound frame. Benaya peers into the pit. Yellow cat eyes glare back. Benaya walks away from the pit, but Benaya isn't walking away. He's getting a running start. He turns around and takes a flying leap of faith, disappearing into the darkness. A defining roar echoes off the walls of the cavernous pit, followed by a blood-curdling battle cry. Then, silence. Dead silence. Everyone expects the lion to strut out, shaking its mane. But no, a human form reaches up and climbs out of the pit. Drops of blood color the crimson snow. Claw marks crisscross Benaya's spear arm. But against all odds, the valiant warrior from Kabzil earns an epic victory. If you find yourself in a pit with a lion on a snowy day, you've got a problem. Probably the last problem you'll ever have. But you've got to admit, I killed a lion in a pit on a snowy day looks awfully impressive on your resume. Especially if you're applying for a bodyguard position with the king of Israel. Benaya not only landed his dream job as King David's bodyguard, but his life exceeded his wildest dreams. 
Benaya climbed the military chain of command all the way to the top, becoming commander-in-chief of Israel's army. The lion chaser became the most powerful person in the kingdom of Israel, save the king. But the genealogy of his dream traces back to a fight or flight moment. One decision determined his destiny, and not much has changed in the three millennia since then. You can run away from what you're afraid of, but you'll be running the rest of your life. It's time to face your fears. Take a flying leap of faith and chase the lion. You have to go after the dream that is destined to fail without divine intervention. You have to go big or go home. After the dream that is destined to fail without divine intervention, you have to bite the bullet or turn your back on your dreams. Most of us spend our lives running away from the things we're afraid of. We forfeit our dreams on the altar of fear. At the end of our lives, our greatest regrets will be the God-ordained opportunities we left on the table and the God-given passions we didn't pursue and the God-sized dreams we didn't go after because we let fear dictate our decisions. Destiny is not a mystery. Destiny is a decision. A difficult decision, a daring decision, a counterintuitive decision. You fulfill your destiny one opportunity at a time. Of course, those opportunities often come disguised as 500 pound problems. Landing in the pit with a lion on a snowy day qualifies as a bad day, a bad break. But Benaya, but Benaya didn't see it as bad luck. He saw it as his big break. Lion chasers have an eye for opportunity. There are amazing opportunities all around us all the time, but you have to see them to seize them. Then you need the courage to chase them. Remember these vital, li vital lessons from lion chasers. If your dream doesn't scare you, it's too small. Again, if your dream doesn't scare you, it's too small. Lion chasers don't run away from what they're afraid of. They run to the roar. Everything in your past is preparation for something in your future. God wastes nothing. God doesn't always call us to win. Sometimes He just calls us to try. Either way, it is obedience that glorifies God. Fifth, your greatest regret at the end of your life will be the lions you didn't chase. You will look back longingly on risks not taken, opportunities not seized, and dreams not pursued. Stop running away from what scares you most and start chasing the God-ordained opportunities that cross your paths. So graduates, chase the lion. Class of 2020 Bachelor of Secondary Education Major in Filipino Navarro Dari Jane R. Noche Franca Rica E. Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English, Altubar James A. Our 
Gonitas Edward B. Bayabos Jonathan M. Akabal Kesha Lee C. Bayona Keith G. Calvario Joan G. Dejito Queenie B. De La Peña, Chris Irene Cara S. Jala Diana Rose A. Marquez Melanie R. Nemenzo Angeline A. Purka Christine Marie O. Silvano Roseline O. Zamora Sherilyn B. Bachelor of Secondary Education Major in Mate. Dion Junior Richard U. Desipolo Philip Andrew F. Gaspi Ruelzan James L. Manuel Chris Nathaniel S. Boloy Aimi A. Paburada Jerose V. D. Bachelor of Elementary Education Major in General Education, Arceo Ransel Job F. Gantalao Bebid D. Lapitan Andrew D. Melo John Mariano E. Pantalion Franklin F. Aligato Sarah Joy B. Bagyo. Marjolu R. Consulta Riva Marie L. Nasalatan Ivy May A. Lebrando Janine B. Lomoxo Sweetzel B. Mahinai Ivory P. Mahinai 
marabe, Bren and May Fee. Oblino, Michelle Camel S. Lotenia, Juveline O. Ponce, Francis Faye S. Tori, Lazil D. Villa Gracia, Marina C. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Financial Management, Aguilar John Lloyd E. Aninion Francis Richard B. Lao John Justin Ray C. Eno Jamel R. Arina Janjan P. Lapined Roberto L. Lion Albert P. Lugatiman Hans Christian D. Olid Rampel John G. O. Marwin G. Reyes Vincent Todd L. Barba Nina Y. Kalapuan Belinda U. Kanyas Florabel M. Canilio Junice L. Senna Mary Ann A. Cubero Noreen S. Duga Duga Duchess B. Flores Anna Rose G. Franciloso Queenie Lynn L. Laresma Virgie B. Liam Nanisa A. Likoan Mayan Malupa Tweety Rose O Marceliana Jetly P Nazareno 
Crystal Sea. Ningaska Jonah Fe Yu. Panerio Len Marie May C. Villagrasha Jerlyn G. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Marketing Management, Kahelo Wawi S. Catalogo Jerome G. Fernandez Christopher A. Palabrica Ronilo Jr. Panares Celso Jr. B. Sequoia Brian Lee M. Alefna Shella Rose D. Amai La Arni F. Giran Jacqueline V. Ubero Welfria D. Descartin Queenie F. Mary Ann A. Iligan Cheney S. Las Pobres Valin May P. Ledama Leslie Leduna Rona M. Libre Jessa Y. Class of 2021. Bachelor of Elementary Education Major in General Education, Lopez Domingo P. Delia Cruces Richie Mark C. Ardientes Corena L. Balasabas Jonah P. Negrido Jonamel V. Patria Karen V. Revelio Jin Lee R. Solitario Pamela A. Tipon Tipon Shakis M.
Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English, Bohas Ramil A. Bayabos May Jean M. Calyora Ana Marie T. Kogonon Christy D. Ramonte Phoebe Joy A. Chris Mundo Elaine Kim Marie C. De La Torre Miriam A. Fernandez Christian and T. Gonzalez Kisa Marie M. La Pasaran May Amabel A. Oreta Donna May T. Kirogo Janeth V. Rivera Daryl Jet R. Sakez Leslie S. Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mathematics, Librando Jonathan M. Apilando Marilyn D. Caniete Vivian P. Gantalao Rose Chell R. Ogdiman Jalin B. Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Filipino. Negre Miko Angelo S. Dukai Mariel M. Jimenez Sarah May A. Yage Ivoni R. Melis Christy P. Ortega Reset B. Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mape. Alipan John Jufel Kubin Jerwin R Claros Kaiser Jude M Erojo Yonel L. Labrador Murky Philip M. Liam Michael Angelo L. 
Palay Boris Luke T. Sangasin Jeb V. Shabo Romar O. Juan Rusty M. Teking Pablito N. Abarquez Jennifer C. Alunar Irene L. Argonitas Lizelle B. Bernos Jera Marie N. Blanco Marivel C. Tabatas Jinky N. Hanoi J. Jen D. Cordova Sherilyn M. Dahil Dahil Christine May T. Desukatan Marivic M. Igos Mary Angeline C. Espadillon Michelle E. Peratero Nello Jane L. Formanes Maricel C. Emida Jollibee B. Kinardino Jelly Ann C. Iwayan Ethel Jane S. Juanillo Maria Cristina J. Lanza Matthew Monica Faith G. Loki Loki Giselle F. Ortegas Richelin Q. Labrica Judy and you Rigor Annalyn B Lizaga Charles May Sebaste Jendi O R Selgas Christine A Suelto Lady Bird P e.
Vasquez, Rachel, Marie V. Vidal, John Litt, N. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration major in Financial Management. Kabatuan, Janine Francis G. Banoy, Estanislao, Ayan L. Tampungan, Janelle C. Dakuma, John Clepard R. Escobar, Limbert P. Lagnason, James T. Prospero, Efren P. Ramas, John Patrick Lance F. Wazon Angelo M. You, John Michael L. Angana Jamily B. Yaai Clydel D. Baklaan Jessa May A. Bakornai Dawn I. Danioso Christine Joy D. The Alagdon Michelle C. Gasalatan Redmi A. Ayagan Jessa May B. Iwayan Kim Marie G. Librando Shella E. Rosarito Marily L. Milia Rudelin L. Ortega Rochelle D. Purissima Genevieve V. Texon Rona May Y. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management. Delubio Joseph F. Escopete Jackney V. Estrada Bon Eric B. Fernando Jr. Armando M.
Nabang Jeric L. Lumano Leofred R. Medina Dominador the Third M. Medina Ian Joseph C. Nepalar Mark No A. Ortigas Rolando Jr. T. Baya Mary Ann H. Cabanillas Jane G. Cabanog Maria May C. Katampongan, Cheryl C. Espinosa, Dulce Ellen G. Garcia, Christinelle P. Redoble. Evangeline R. Senson Jessa D. Sumbal Mitchell B. Tabuada Joan F. My dear graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name to hereby solemnly pledge that I will commit myself to the rules and regulations of the Tanyan College Alumni Association support and defend its constitution and bylaws, and faithfully fulfill my duties as a member of the said association without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations, my dear friends.
a school we salute you we hail and honor you the school that the lord has given to train young men and women to be what they will be someday Tanyan school we thank you for teachers of That sent from heaven for us to teach your mind so that we'll succeed someday. God bless this school you provided for us to gain more knowledge and bless also the teachers for all the things they'll do and may well be true forever to you that on your our school we salute you Your dream to make us what we are now. You help us make our dreams for free. You made us more responsible. We bring our lives for honor. So that's